So I was working on this 330 GTC and I ran into a problem. What happened was as I was testing it, the, uh, the car stalled out and then it wouldn't start. This had been described to me by one by the owner of the car where it was just, hey, listen, you know, the car stopped, stalled and, and it wouldn't restart when it was hot and it would still crank. So the battery still seemed to be supplying enough power, but um, it just wouldn't start. So that's why it ended up coming back to me. And I said, look, we, we have to figure out what's going on first. Did it overheat? Was it not starting? I wasn't sure the description as to what happened. Was the starter actually working? Was, was, the, was the battery dead? Was it whatever? So when I got it, I tried to replicate the problem, but couldn't do it until I got everything really hot. I mean, it was the day that was out there. It was, it was into the 90s. I was idling the car and it stalled and when I went to restart it, it finally showed me what it was doing. She's not happy. You can feel it. Carburetor is turning up oil. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. All right, I think what's happening is uh, we don't have enough power here to fire it up. So, how do I think this thing? I think what we did was we ran the battery down. All right, let me uh, let me get out, take a look at this car. Well, it's another hot day, but I think I solved the problem with this car. Oh my gosh, this took forever, and it really started to question whether or not I had the ability to fix this thing but I finally figured it out. And usually what happens, it's the stupid little part that does it. It was the condensers. Um, you know, so this car, you know, not knowing the history of it all, and I went through it and got the ignition running, but I haven't had a condenser fail on a car ever. But, you know, this is what happens. You never know, so never assume. So. This car would idle, idle, idle hot, and then all of a sudden it would quit. And I started chasing coils, I started chasing voltage drop, I started chasing all that stuff. It would have an extremely hard time starting. But eventually I figured it out because I changed the plug wires, I checked the plug gaps, I checked the ignition, I checked everything except for the condenser because it's just one of those things and I have to admit, it just never, it just didn't seem like it could, you know, again, now that I see and saw it happening and went back and reviewed the symptoms, I can see why it could have been the condenser. But it's not something that's a common failure. Um, but as I saw from the tests, that's what happened. Um, I actually had to fire up my sun machine and do the condenser test. So luckily I was able to pull up a, uh, a submachine manual and then just go over how they wanted me to test this condenser and I'm going to show you the one that isn't any good. So first thing I do, it's going to be a little loud so you have to bear with the noise so because this machine is just old and noisy but first thing you turn on and then what you have to do is you have to put the test leads together and ground them out. Hold on. Ground them out like that to the condenser um, tester. You let it warm up because what happens is you have to calibrate it. 
So what I do is let it warm up, and then they want you to put it right on what they call the set. So I slowly turn that up, and once I know that the machine is warm, it'll pretty much stay there. But you can see I'm still turning the knob a little at a time because it's still warming up. Like in other words, it'll slowly go up, and I'm just going to keep calibrating this dial until it gets to the set line. It stays there. All right, so that's that's calibrated. So then what I do is I take these and I put them on the distributor itself. I put the one lead to the actual distributors to the distributor cable and then to ground. And then what I do is I make sure that none of the points are closed. So I have to kind of turn the turn the distributor machine so that the points are open. And it should be, they said, in that black area, and it's not. That's the series resistance. Okay, the next test, they say, which um, you can do leakage tests. So when I turn this to leakage, it goes way off the chart. It's supposed to be over there in the black on that side. So it's obviously not reading the correctly. Capacity, I'm not sure. It's supposed to be somewhere. I'm not sure what the capacity is supposed to be, but um, I don't have the spec for this particular condenser, but at least I know that when I go to leakage, it seems to be off the chart. So let me uh, set this all up with the new with the condenser that I have. I actually have another condenser that I'm going to install and you'll see the difference. So let me just, I'll show you that. Okay, so here we go again. I have it set. Um, I got the calibration where I want it with the connector leads, right on the set line, and then I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect this line to the distributor, and then this to the ground, and it's within spec. I mean, I think it's close. But now this is the biggest difference. When I switch the leakage, it goes where it's supposed to be, which is on that side of the scale, not the other side. So that's the other condenser I put in. And um, I don't know, let's see what happens. So now I got the car warmed up. It's all hot as anything. Watch this. So now it idles great. I can shut it off, bump it, and it starts. Now, you can see that the temperature's up high. It's idling. The cooling fans are going to kick on when you watch that gauge. There it goes. So that's the cooling fan turning on. So now, what I did in the past to stress test this car was while the cooling fans are running, I would turn on the lights, and you'll watch this when I turn on the lights, the cooling fan drops even further. I could even turn on the blower motors. Now we're almost at almost 40 amps of draw, okay? Now, really stress test this thing? Shut it off. Lights are still on, still at discharge, okay? And now, when I crank it over, it still starts. I couldn't get that to happen before. So now what's happening is I can turn things off. Everything goes back. It's still a little bit of draw because the because the uh, fan is going. But still, with all that draw on the battery, everything on, it's still firing. I could not get that to do that before. And there you go, fan just turned off. So the fan's working correctly. Everything's cycling as it should. Um, like I said, hot as all hell today, but you know what? I think I got it whipped. So it feels so good when I can get a car like this to work the way it's supposed to. Even though it's not the best way I want to run it, I got it whipped. So uh, thanks for hanging in there. And thanks for watching. <laughs>